Good day to you all. In this movie I want to show you some uh, measurements I did on uh, the magnetic field of the magnet. Um, as pointed out by David, it's better to start further away from the magnet because the field is really big on this one. So I'm going to do the measurements again and I also have changed something. So I really would like to know where exactly the changeover is made by the sine wave if you go on a total uh, crossover. So therefore, I change the setup. So this is sharpening. So here we have the magnet, and we have the three positions A, B, and C. Now this wire is connected to the plus of that battery over here. And uh, also I have here a wire to the probe of the oscilloscope. Now the, the meaning of this is that the second uh, input of the oscilloscope will be triggered. And so I can see where exactly the sine wave is at that moment. So I'm going to show you. So when I come to the wire, you see that it's going up. Of course, you see there is a lot of uh, pulses, but it, I'm only interested in the first. Also, the oscilloscope when I ask for a single uh, view. So when I do now a crossover, then you see our first pulse over here is uh, not exactly at the middle, but approximately. So what we need to know is where the sine wave is when the coil goes outside. So we change the setup. Put it in a continuous mode. Just leave it in here. It's not a setup for real. Approximately here. So again, asking for a single. So here we can see that the maximum of the wave is at the border of this magnet. So this is indeed in the center, and this is then, of course, the, the other border. So in the next video, I will move the magnet around like this, and then we can do the measurements again, but I need to change the setup for this. Thank you for watching.